Well, the uh, fans here are going to enjoy an excellent field, considerable depth of these uh, two-year-old trotting fillies. They're also enjoying the circumstances of Garden State Park. You can't find a more beautiful racing plant. Here's Kenny Rice in the paddock right now. Kenny? Thank you, Sharon. Mr. Robert Brennan had a dream. That dream has been realized and literally rising from the ashes, Garden State Park. It is appropriate that one of the rooms here at Garden State be named the Phoenix Room. Mr. Brennan, your first year, you're coming off the thoroughbred meet. It was successful. A lot of interest here. You had to spend a buck in the Jersey Derby, and people all over the racing world were looking at Garden State. Now into the harness meet, what does it mean to have two breeders' crowns here? Well, we think it's just a, a, a wonderful accomplishment for, uh, for us and for the uh, program itself. We're looking to use the uh, breeders' crown races this year as the stage to build and make it even bigger next year. With the hoopla surrounding Garden State, everyone was interested in this, not only in the racing world, but I guess people who are just sports fans to see how it would go. Maybe scrutinized a little more than any other racetrack opening up. How do you feel about the way things have gone here in your thoroughbred meet going into your harness meet? Well, I'll tell you, I couldn't feel any better. One of the major uh, aspects of our program was to try to build a new fan interest in horse racing in general. And in the thoroughbred program, for example, uh, while well, we attracted 12,000 fans a night, over 60% of those fans were new fans that had never been to a racetrack before in their lives. And when they came, they, they liked what they saw. They came again, and they came on an average of 10 times during a 100-day meet. That's good news for all of us, I think, in racing, whether it's thoroughbred, standard bred. Uh, we're, we're about to, uh, to build some new fans here at Garden State Park. Probably epitomizing the interest in fans here at Garden State is the fact that we're standing in probably the world's most plush uh, paddock area where the fans can actually come out on the balconies and look at the horses as they prepare to go on the track. Well, one of the wonderful things about this paddock is that it allows the fans, literally thousands of fans, can, can be in the paddock at seven different levels that overhang this paddock and participate in the romance and ambiance and the excitement of paddock life, which after all is a big part of racing. You wanted exciting races? You've got one tonight, we hope. We sure do. We have an exciting program and, and a wonderful race with the, uh, the uh, Breeders' uh, Crown uh, program this evening. Thank you very much, Mr. Robert Brennan, the man that got Garden State back in working. We're expecting a good race tonight and look forward to another Breeders' Crown. That will be coming up in late November. Sharon? Well, thank you.